Hey team, Coach Gary here, and it is day 13 and day 20 in the next week of the 30 day strong challenge. And it is compound day, so you're doing big movements using a lot of muscle strength. And here we go, this is how you're gonna do it. First one, number one, two, is a superset. Okay, as usual, pay attention to the black line and your reps and sets over the side. Once you finish that, you're doing a tri-set. So you do three, four, five, three, four, five, okay? Once you finish that, six and seven, six and seven, do your absolute best, push as hard as you can, if you can, up your sets and your reps as needed, okay? Ideally, if you have heavier weights, go heavier in the weighted moves as well. All right, keep watching for the technique videos. Okay, we're gonna do renegade row with no weights, so that just means your hands are in a push-up position or a tall plank position, okay? Feet can be apart or together to make it harder, all right? And you're just gonna row up to your side, touch your rib cage, there, keep the elbows tight, squeeze the abs, keep the back straight, and row up. If that's too hard, you can start on your knees and then work your way to your feet. All right, here we go. We're gonna do squat to press. So I want you to bring those dumbbells up to the front of your shoulders, elbows tucked in, abs are tight. You're gonna sit into your squat. As you come up, stand tall and press overhead. Okay, so sitting into your squat and press. So you're gonna use the force of your standing and power those weights up over to your head. Okay, and I want you to turn as well. So you're not going just straight up. You're gonna stand, turn those dumbbells, right to the middle. Stand, press, press, squat to press. For your push-up shoulder tap, you're gonna have your feet a little bit apart in your push-up position, so you have a good base, all right? So do your push-up, come up, tap to the side. Push-up, tap to the other side. Push-up, and side. Try to keep the body as straight as possible as you tap so you're not like turning, okay? So try to keep it straight, Push up, go to your knees if you need, okay? But as you get stronger, even if you can only do like a quarter push up, to get stronger and build that strength on your feet, try to do that and get up to your full push up. All right, we're gonna do the laying dumbbell press. So you can do this on a flat surface or if you have a bench, that's cool too. You're gonna take your dumbbells, get them up on your knees, ready to go. As you lay back, you're gonna push those dumbbells up over your chest and your ready position. Okay, arms extended. When you come down, you're gonna come down on an arc, bend those elbows to 90 degrees, okay? If you're on the ground like this, don't let your, them rest. Just barely touch, if anything. Here, and press. And okay, and you can return to your knees and sit tall so the weight is off of your back as you sit up. Okay, we're gonna do a sumo squat to upright row. So you're gonna start in a position that's much wider than your normal squat, so it's like a sumo position. Feet are face out, and as you go down, your knees are gonna stay in line with those toes, okay guys? So keep the dumbbells in front, stand tall, and pull. Sit down, up, and pull. And you're gonna transfer the force from your legs as you stand to that pull. Okay, sumo squat, tough right row. We're gonna add a row to your dumbbell stiff leg deadlifts. So I want you in your deadlift position, feet hip width apart, dumbbells are in, facing the thighs, and we're gonna go down. And once we get to our bottom position, I want you to row. Then you stand nice and tall, go back down, bottom position, keeping that back strong and straight, row, and up, down, Row, squeeze the back, stand tall. Remember, keep the dumbbells close to the shins until you get to your row. Stand tall, and each one of those counts as one rep. For the plank to be up, I'm gonna explain it first before I show it. So, I want you to hold your plank position for 20 seconds, or you can hold it longer later when you get stronger, and then you're gonna do the V ups 15 times, okay? Or whatever your program says, whatever you can do. So, get into your plank position, Elbows under your shoulders, just holding, 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 20 seconds. And then I want you to pull your feet in a tiny bit. And then you're gonna push your bum to the sky and back to plank. Bum to the sky, back to plank. Squeeze your abs at the top. So you're pushing off your elbows 
through your shoulders, bringing them back and your bum up to a pike, a V-up. 